some of my pupils. A lot of them say in the week, in the run up to their driving test, they're not sleeping, mm. they're thinking about it, it's at the forefront of their thoughts, and it's preventing them from relaxing. Sure. What hints and te techniques would you suggest that they use to try and relax and think of it as just another another day? Sure. Well, of course sleep plays an important role in the way we feel generally. Think of it like this, we all carry around with us a metaphorical stress bucket in which we put all our troubles. There's always going to be things in there, even as a therapist there's things in my stress bucket. But it's your ability to be able to let these things go and take them out. The more we have in our stress bucket, the more we then have to process. We process that during our REM sleep, which is the last two hours of our sleep. Of course, if a person's only having six hours sleep, they're missing out on that important REM time. They're then having more stuff in their stress bucket the next day, adding more things in, the driving test being one of the main things in there. The more stress they have, residual stress, traumas and things like that, the more that's already going to be in there. So it's really important to have that good night's sleep in order to be nice and calm. What I would say is the best idea is try to do a few small tips to help yourself on a daily basis. Limit the screen time you have before bed and practice good sleep hygiene. Right. What effectively we need to be able to do in order to have a good night's sleep is we need to have a release of a certain chemical in our brain. When we have a good flow of that chemical, that's what helps us to go to sleep at night. Best way to stimulate that is to have certain rules. The bedroom is the room where you go to sleep. The bed is the room you go to sleep. If you sit in your bedroom leading up to the evening, which, let's face it, a lot of teenagers do, and they've got their curtains drawn, their brain then starts to accept that the bed is no longer just a place of sleep. If you make it that you only ever go into your bedroom and go to the, sit on your bed when it's time to go to sleep, your brain then becomes able to register, bed is about sleep. At that point, your head touches the pillow, straight to sleep. 